What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you today. I just want to talk to you guys about the mind of the elitists. What is the mindset of the elitists? Well, let me give you a simple example. Hitler felt like the undesirables needed to be exterminated because he was taught the ancient mystery school teachings. He was exposed to a lot of the higher knowledge that's hidden within the ancient mystery schools. And then he also was in contact with uh, elevated beings or master teachers or the hidden ones. So because of those items, he felt like everyone else who weren't on that level deserved to be eliminated. So think about chattel slavery. If you were born, bred, and engineered to be a slave, then you don't have the cognizant ability to think. You're just going to mindlessly respond and beg for access whenever you need something. So that's the place that most are in. How many people do you know that fit that category? I was listening to a few um, young black guys in a barbershop and they were talking about money as if it was a god and it actually had some sort of value. So who am I to say something otherwise to those guys? They'll be like, whatever, you know, what the hell you talking about, old man? So you cannot wake up a slave. And the mind of the, the mindset of the uh, 1% is that slaves deserve whatever they get. So a lot of, um, slave masters don't have empathy so the begging for access usually doesn't work but that's the only tactic that these chattel slaves know how to do because they don't want to they can't think for themselves they don't want personal responsibility laziness is the new black so they're not very efficient slaves but they're damn sure mindless slaves and um, that's where most people fit in. You know, you live, you you die, and in the middle, you pay a bunch of bills and you're, you're relegated to a very small space. So you really can't save people from slavery. That person is sort of like classism. It's They were born into that class you know, they will die in that class. You can't save slaves. I think Harriet Tubman said she freed a thousand slaves and maybe a thousand more if they even knew they were slaves. So the point is, as the financial cliff becomes reality, and as the dollar reign comes to a close, those young boys and, and all of these slavery mentality people will probably go with the dollar. Because you're for some reason, whatever's been programmed into a slave's mind cannot be changed. And then a slave's mind is not strong enough to fucking accept new information. So that court, all of the stereotypes that's annotated with black people in the slavery days, they're not smart. They don't have feelings. They're not capable of anything. Every stereotype that was known to white people during slavery and still propagated by those very same descendants of white people Slaves and the average person who act like a slave prove it to be true. You can't fucking save the mindset of a lost slave. Because no matter what you say to them, they're going to hold on to the paradigm that they've been taught. For some reason, the human mind is segmented to the point where it cannot adapt and change once you present new stimuli. So if you grow somebody within a Petri dish and then you take them out of the Petri dish, they shut down emotionally and then they turn into a fucking mindless dumb fuck 
you know, they're like, uh, I don't know how to exist anymore. For some reason, the human mind cannot adapt, change, cannot be resilient, cannot constantly deal with new environments and new information. So, much like the Hitlerian approach to eliminating useless eaters, the mindset of the 1% is these chattel slaves need to be minimized. If you read the Georgia Guidestones, it talks about less than a half a billion people on the planet. Somewhere around 400 million. So that means out of the 7 billion people that currently exist, that this mass production of uh, chattel slaves is out of control. They feel like these these slaves need to be tamed. They're like wild geese, wild apes that are out of control. We need to tame their population so that we don't have to fucking feed them or weigh down or have their burden weigh down on us. So, if this information went over your head and you can't understand the mindset of the super rich, then you're definitely a fucked up slave. But if this information somehow resonates within your spirit and you can comprehend anything I said, the best suggestion is to do something about it. Now, that means that not affect people around you, but that definitely means that you can affect yourself and make sure that your mindset is not in line with the chattel slaves that are around you.